Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing this, I think this is from Essence, this Essence Beauty Sponge. Obviously I've used it a bit. I've used it enough to um, have washed it because I washed it the other day. And so I'm going to be doing my makeup with this. So I'm going to be going off camera doing makeup without this and then coming back to show you guys it. It's a review and demo and all that. Um, I'm going to have this sponge until September, which is Caden's birthday. But it's exciting because... Uh, I was counting down the days to June to use this because I missed a sponge in my routine. I was using the Tati Beauty Blendiful, which Tati Beauty is no longer existent. It doesn't exist. You can't get the Blendiful anymore. It was a good product. But to be completely honest, I understood what Tati meant when she said it wasn't meant to replace your sponge. It's obvious. It's like... I understood what she meant because, like, it doesn't, it replaces your sponge, but at the same time, you're gonna get, like, bored of it, honestly. Like, I got bored of using it, and I wanted to go back to using a sponge so bad. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and do some makeup, and I will be back when it is time for me to show you how I use the sponge in certain ways. I have so much filming to get done today. It is honestly ridiculous. I'm really, really trying to up the ante on like my filming and stuff like that. So anyways, um, we also took the kids to the park this morning. Jackson is too little to understand it, I know, but Kai isn't, and you should have seen the look on his face. So I'm going to take the LA Colors Eye Primer and the Matte Finish. You guys know I love this. So I have been loving doing this lately with this makeup sponge. So obviously I take a little bit on my hand and I'm going to take my Beauty Professional um, All Over Shadow Brush and I just have been doing this, applying it to the lid. By the way, I saw Jason Wood Beauty is on sale today. Mm -hmm. Do me a purchase because that's one of the brands I wanted to try this one. I take the butt of this sponge. So it's kind of like hourglass shaped and then it has like the tip slanted like a little bit at the top. But I take the butt shape and the butt of the sponge I mean. And I just blend it out. And it works out because I prefer this eye primer not set. So it honestly ends up working out, and it's like less amount of pressure applied to my lid, and I just really enjoy it. So. Drastic change. Yes, I know. But anyways, I'm using the Natasha Denona Mini Love Palette today for this look. If you guys are curious, I can do a tutorial on it. So I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation. This is the normal to dry one in 125. Nude beige. I always go a step up with my foundation. It's just something I've been doing lately for the summer. So I take about that much, which is honestly a little bit much. And what I do is I'm going to take this Wet n Wild flat top brush and I'm going to blend it out on one side with a brush and then I'm going to show you guys the sponge side. <laughs> you can be the judge of which one you prefer. I love the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I do have normal to dry skin, so this formula is just the bomb for me, honestly. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the butt of the sponge. See? I've always loved applying this foundation with a sponge also. It applies great with a brush, but it does apply good with a sponge as well, and I love that. So the sponge is using up more product. I will tell you guys that now, which is pretty normal for a sponge. But I like to side with the brush better. Honestly, I think that I have a look up, a, like a deeper coverage. I prefer a more medium set coverage foundation, and this honestly gives me a nice medium coverage when I use it with a brush, but I figured I would just show you guys. I've been loving cream products lately, so of course this is going to take a while. I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter in Rosie and Red Tea. I've been not really enjoying this. Hi. The vegetables aren't going anywhere. But I haven't really been enjoying this. I've talked about how I feel like it has a weird gray tone, so I'm going to take this side. This is the more rounded edge side. I'm no longer losing my hair, so that's good. And it 
blended it very into like a more subtle kind of highlight which I prefer because I do put a powder highlight on anyway so I don't really care but it does have a base so that's nice okay next I'm gonna go into my concealer so I do color correct with this Milani retouch and erase light lifting concealer in deep honey I want the correct shade because this is a nice concealer so I take a very tiny amount and all I do is since it has the sponge I just tap it like I use the sponge to tap a little bit out like that and I go in with again the rounded side and I blend that out hey buddy In case you guys are curious, he's just laying right here. I'm going to take my Jeffree Star Concealer in C6.5. This is a nice concealer. Only have to use it the once. And I make sure I cover up quite a bit. But you saw, did not have to dive back in. Super nice. Now I'm going to take the flat edge, which you can see I've already used this quite a few times. It needs to be cleaned again. I take the flat edge and I think that the shape does get in the way quite a bit because I don't feel like it gets in the inner corner correctly. You dancing, Kai Bubs? But it does a great job of blending out my concealer. Something I've been liking doing lately is going into my setting powder, which I've been using the ColourPop um, No Filter Setting Powder in Light, which is probably going to make it into my monthly disappointments, to be completely honest, because it is hard panned so bad. And I don't know why it's hard panned. Like, I do the same thing with this powder that I did with the other one. And even, don't say using the wet sponge is going to hard pan it because I used it with just a clean, dry brush and it still hard panned really bad. So I don't know what is up with that. This is just the refill one. So all I do is I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to take the sponge in. I have hit pan, so it's not that big of a deal, but it still sucks. And then I tap the powder onto the sponge, like that's on the sponge pressing it in. I just feel like this gives me a more flawless coverage with the powder and I really like it. And you can see how much powder gets on the sponge. And voila! So what I'm doing is I'm going to take my Hard Candy Bake, Brighten, and Set Sheer Envy. This is like the banana powder. I'm doing is taking the butt of the sponge, tapping it off, and pressing it in to my skin to kind of like lightly set. Because I haven't been using a powder foundation lately. I've just been doing this. Just all over my skin. All right, so that is it for the base with that sponge. I will go and do the rest of my makeup over here. Okay, so I've almost completed this look, which you guys can see. This is basically the finished look. I have been loving taking my setting spray, which I am currently using the Urban Decay All Nighter, which I really like. Spraying it. Then taking this sponge and spraying it, the butt of the sponge, and just pressing that into my skin like this. Is he get, is he okay? Yeah, that's Kai.
I just figured I'd check on him because he's been hanging out with my mom lately. No longer a mommy boy. And after that, sometimes I do this. I take this Soul Body Body Oil. This is the Rainbow Glow one. Take a little bit on the sponge. Just a very, very tiny, tiny little bit. If I'm going to be wearing, like, showing something like this, then I'm going to do this. Because it is summer and you kind of, like, want to look a little healthy. I want to get another one from um, Soul Body because I do a ColourPop order every month now. I'm about to order my ColourPop order today as well. Get some money. Right, so that's it. So this is the finished look using that makeup sponge. I really want to know what you guys think about this look. If you want to see a tutorial, just let me know. Of course, I can always do a makeup tutorial. I'm also still testing out these um, stick-on nails. I talked about them a little bit on my gaming channel. I was asking the guys like what they thought. If there's any guys even watching, who knows. But anyways, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I really enjoy that sponge. I really do. I think that that sponge is better wet than dry. I sometimes alternate between using a wet sponge and a dry sponge. I think that that sponge is wet, is better wet, and I really like it. Um, the shape is a little eh. I don't really like the shape, but it is what it is. We can't change everything. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to end it here. And I'll see you guys in the next one, which I'm going to start filming soon because I have a lot of content to film. And I'm going to try and get it all done today so I can relax for a little bit. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.